She said being cheeky. I am being cheeky, yeah. Well, continuing the theme of yesterday, I'm out ridiculously early, ridiculously early at the car boot. It doesn't start till half eight. I'm down at, um, one down in Surrey, they only do two a year. And it's, um, it's half past six now. But I tell you what, I do not mind being out. It's absolutely glorious morning again. Um, driven down in deepest stock in Surrey, there's dogs in the park. And there was a little rabbit that was uh, crossing the A22 as I was coming down. And I thought, blimey, you don't get that in Croydon. Here we are at the Cricket Pavilion, all very posh down here. Um, Union Jacks flying. There are dogs running up there. It's absolutely lovely morning and it's nice and cool at the moment. I think it's going to get ridiculously hot later. Um, so it's probably the best time of day to be out and about. This is something else. I've never seen this before. Um, everyone is basically pre-booked or the sellers. There's, I think there's 250 seller slots and there's lots of people in high-vis vests from the Rotary Club. You know, all running around trying to be important. And there's a, a woman in a big pink hat over there just sorting all the cars that are just coming in now at like 8.30 and asking them, are you pre-booked? Are you pre-booked? I don't know whether they actually have a place on the field for each registration of car. But it's the most bizarre thing I've ever seen. And I see your gold shoes, mate. Uh, I do those for four quid. Four quid? Yeah, three quid if you want them. Three quid, four. go on, I'll do one of them, I'll have them yeah, three quid. Then. All right, nothing wrong with them. Oh yeah, yeah, no, I use those, I use those in the uh, dry season. For, yeah. Uh, but I've got about four pairs, I've got like a lot of the other stuff. They're brand, absolutely brand spanking. How much are these ones? I do those for a tenner. Okay. I'll just get these ones, get the Adidas okay. ones. All right. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. I saw your sunglasses. This really is proper old school boot fair. Just loads of normal sellers. Very few traders. How much is the blockbusters? Uh, three quid. Three quid, okay, lovely, thanks a lot. Okay, thank you. How much are your shoes? Oh, how much are your shoes? Huh? These ones here. A quid. couple of quid. Sold. I've only wore it once. Oh, well. oh, sorry. Did they not fit? Uh, I had an accident. And oh, I, okay. And I had, I had to drop a size bigger. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. Oh, How much are your boots? Ten. Ten. Kid size, yeah. Thank yeah. You know. Yeah. They're real. Yeah, that's always a question, isn't it? Yeah. No, they are. The box and everything. They are legit. We take five. No, I would take seven. I don't want to take yeah, any less of that. That's fine, that's, that's fine. Lovely. Thanks ever so much. Lovely, cheers. One, two. That there was we go. Awesome two. There you go. Lovely. All right, thanks, thanks a lot. See you later. What did I say to you? You said a fiver each. Yes. If I took this out. Tenner. Yeah. Let's go for it. I'll, I'll think about where to put them. Now, they're brand new, pretty well. They're £20. Oh, okay. Size six. Yeah, I'll leave those there. Thank you. Okay. What's your MacBook, mate? 25. Yeah. You get into it all right, is it passworded or? I suspect it's got a password on it, you'd probably have to change it. Yeah. No power supply, anything no, like that? I haven't that. got no power supply. Yeah. I did have a man who used to buy them just for the parts. Yeah. I'll have a think about that. Alright. 
just a couple of controllers, yeah? Have you got the actual Wii or...? <laughs> How much is this then? Yeah, yeah, don't worry, I'll, I'll probably pick something up later on. How much are your Converse? Pardon? How much are these? Uh, How much is your foot spa? Pardon? Ten. How much is your jacket? Um, 40. 40. Okay. How much is that? I'm further down, I've walked down, I'm sitting under the shade, by, right the way down the end. Okay. Three quid. I was hoping you'd say a quid, you wouldn't do it for a quid, would you? Would you do it for a pound? Get rid of it. Go on. She says being cheeky. Oh, I am being cheeky, yeah. No, Meet me in the middle then. I tell you, for you, you can have it for £7 because you've got a lovely smile. You meet me in the middle. Would you like that for £7? Yes, please. Is that alright? Huh? Meet me in the middle. She said meet me in the middle, £2. Oh, you do you want to sit? I'm going home now, so I can't. Take his money, Jake. Take it quick. <laughs> Rugby tackle me. There you go. Can we take three pounds for them? No, four pounds because I've already got a diamond. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, here we go, haul time, and we have an uh, absolute mountain of stuff to go through. Um, it was a really nice boot fair, actually. Real kind of like took me back to how boot fairs used to be. Um, but let's get into it straight away. So these Northwest, I, I actually got these whilst I was writing around for um, a Nintendo DS to turn up. A woman said she had a DS, but her sister was bringing it along. And in that sort of situation... I kind of think, oh, it could be a 3DS XL, it could be this, could be that. It was a DS Lite, um, but still got it for a good price. So these were £4. I think you saw me getting them on the uh, on the doodah. Tarot cards I will always pick up uh, if they're a good enough price. Um, I obviously would prefer a vintage deck. Um, they can be worth very good money. This will be like 10 15 something around there. Um, this is a whole batch of... Nintendo DS games. It is fodder, but uh, again, I got it at a really good price. There are a couple of games here which pay for the bundle, like Nintendogs. Actually, these, there's a whole batch of these um, which are um, don't have the discs in. Uh, these ones, I think. Um, so, Nintendogs and uh, Mario's in here somewhere. I can't see it at the moment, but it is there. I may have may well have taken it out of the box. Um, there it is. It's, it's, the, it's the one that's the wrong way around. It got me. So there's a couple there, but mainly used for putting with, with DS consoles, I think. Um, let me just put this down. 
So, uh, yeah, the same lady had a pink DS. Um, it doesn't, it's in here. It hasn't got the uh, GBA cart cover, but it's in great condition. Um, so always happy to pick those up uh, if I can get them for a good price. The golf shoes, I think you saw me get, they were three quid, which you can't really argue with that for golf shoes. Again, I imagine at least 15. Um, I'll have to look them up. Probably a good time to sell. Now, these ones, uh, this, these look funky. I don't know what they're about. Nike Vista Light. Obviously, some sort of running trainer. Look very nice. Um, and these uh, Adidas classics. Um, they were 12, I think, uh, for the two of them. I think I've got a couple of quid off. Um, but I'll be interested to look these ones up. Um, some of you may already know what they are, so if you do, chuck it in the comments. Uh, right, that's that, that's that. These, I can't remember how much I paid. It would have been a fiver or less. Again, lots of trainers, and it's not deliberate. It's not like I've said to myself, I'm going to be niche man on trainers, but they just happen to be there. And I, I really am a, you know, I will try and pick anything up. It, it could, you know, and there's lots of stuff I don't know about. Uh, that must be blatantly obvious to a lot of you. But um, if I suddenly learn about, oh, I don't know, brass or militaria, uh, I've, got, I've got no qualms with sort of like picking up any sort of stuff. Um, so really, really nice, these ones. Uh, again, you saw me buy those. That was off the uh, Nintendo DS lady. And these DMs, I wouldn't normally buy kids' shoes, but they were DMs. Um, they did look in good condition, like hard, hardly worn. And then they're, they're going to be hardly worn because they're bought for a young kid. So it's not going to like they're going to wear them for years and years and years. Uh, they were seven pounds. Um, standard grow clock, so that will flip for like about a tenner. That cost me a quid. I will only buy them if they're about a quid or two. Um, and then some Lego. This is a sealed one. Um, I think that might have been four, three or four, something like that. And then we got this Friends one, um, and I got that for a five. It's complete, no instructions, but that's fine. All the instructions are online, of course. So that should be... And, and I may well... I've got loads of Lego instructions, so I may well have them. I've got like a box of Lego instructions. Um, yeah, pound for the London Pride. Can't go wrong with that. that would probably be about a tenner. And then this one, which um, I may well keep myself. It's a huge mouse mat. Um, with Van Gogh's Starry Night in there, I think it's it's not a copy, is it? No, I think it's Van Gogh's Starry Night, and that was two pounds. I was a very very cheeky boy. I am the cheeky boy. Um, and then this, which is, I think it's about one hundred and fifty. I counted them yesterday, but I can't remember how many there were. It cost. It was in two carrier bags. It cost me a fiver, but it nearly gave me a hernia trying to carry it. I mean, I carried the first bag, and that almost killed me. It was like four steps, and then I've got to put it down. And then the second bag, I just split up. Um, I've had a quick look at prices. I mean, people do sell them in batches. Uh, a, good, a good price would be a fiver each. Um, a not so good price in batches would be around about a pound each. So, I mean, it could range from anywhere, like return on this could range anywhere. Yeah, and then there could be some I don't sell. So it could range from like 100 to like 500 plus. Who knows? But to be honest, for five pounds spend, um, I mean, to me, it's a no brainer. Um, the only way it can go wrong is if nothing sells and I'm stuck with it, but I, I don't think that'll happen. And then I could always car boot it anyway. So there we go. That's a big old haul for today. Here's a few things I almost forgot. So there's a, there's a bunch of Kindles there, which um, you know I kind of like picking up. And then this Game Boy, Game Boy Pocket, not as good as uh, your original Game Boy, obviously. I did not pay 45 pounds. I did not pay even half of that. 
So it does work, tested it and working, got the battery cover, a little bit of wear around the corners, but I got that with the Nintendo uh, white case, which is, you know, it's just a case, but also this. And this was just sort of like lying in a box uh, flat. It is empty, it's just the box, but um, I'm pretty sure I can get hold of um, Super Mario, um, what's it, Super Mario Land 1 and 2, and um, a, the DS case, I think that's the black one with the red writing, and um, original Game Boy. I don't, I think, this didn't necessarily have the yellow Game Boy in it. I mean, I have got a Game Boy upstairs. Um, but I think, it, you know, if I was to sell this as a pack with all the contents, it would be nice to get the yellow Game Boy. So, yeah, I mean, very pleased to be able to barter that down. But I, I just kind of like getting boxes. Uh, call me sad, but, you know, I just like getting them. And then eventually I'll get all the stuff for it and sell it as a complete little uh, little listing. Hope you enjoyed all that. Um, I'm going to be busy listing. I got a big haul of stuff as well um, last week, so it's good because I've got stock sort of like backing up, and I often find my problem is kind of scrabbling around for stock. So it's nice to have that problem, and I'm going to get on and get some regular listing done because that's what makes the sales. Anyway, if you did like the video, do give it a thumbs up, and I'll catch you all for the next one. See you later.